check one latest and a very powerful function. Edit head map in RAM for Seagate hard drives. Here we can check RAM operations. Edit physical head map. Now we can find that this hard drive, this Seagate hard drive, it has four heads. Head 0, head 1, head 2, and head 3. So head 0 and head 1 take care of the read and write for the bottom platter. And head 2 and head 3 takes care of the top platter. So from this function, we can easily edit the head virtually. If the head 0 is damaged, or weak, we can change to 0, 1 and then click OK to save. If the head 1 is damaged, we can change the 0, 1 to 0, 0 and then click save. But here, users must understand that this is the head map editing in RAM. That means you cannot use power reset. If you use power reset, the head map will go back to the original status. So when do we use this physical head map editing in RAM? Sometimes when single head is weak or damaged, the hard drive is detected very slowly or cannot be detected. At this time, users can go to this function, RAM operations, physical head map editing, and then you change the damaged head to the good labor head. Like what I have just mentioned, if 0 damaged, then change to 1. If 2 had 2 damaged, then we change head 2 to head 3. We need to use the neighbor head, the partner head, to replace the damaged head virtually. And then click OK. But to use this physical head map editing in RAM, the hard drive must be ready. How about if the hard drive is busy? We need to use head map editing in ROM. So users need to edit ROM edit and then open the ROM file. Here is one head map. We need to edit head map here in ROM when the hard drive is busy. So after the head map editing in ROM, the head map will be changed permanently until you change the head map in ROM back to the original status. And this function is not only important for weak head or single head damage. It's also very important for hard drives with scratches. For example, if the bottom platter is scratched, that means the head zero is damaged. At that time, we need to cut the head zero physically. I mean cut physically. So there are only three physical heads remained. That is head 0, 1, 2, 3. So you have only 3 heads kept to read the platters. So at this time, we will get the drive ready with 3 heads. And then we go to the DFL DDP data recovery software. Then we use the selective head image selective head image set head map 
then we can after the head map is set we need to image the good heads like the head one two three so we need to image these three kept good heads because we have cut the head zero physically and edit the head map in room already now we use the selective head image to image the good heads but at this time after we image the head one two and three how about if we have some important data which is stored in the head zero how can we recover data from head zero because head zero is parked is parking on the scratched service so for the scratched service we need to use the new Dorfman data recovery tool it's one innovative head comp for Seagate we have two kinds of Seagate scratched head separator like this one for the DM003010 for Seagate Barracuda point 11 and point 12 the users can use this special headcom to bypass the scratched error. So after bypass this scratched error, the good surfaces can be read properly. So we need to after we image the head one, two, three, then we need to go back to image head zero so we can remove the hard drive PCB suppose we have imaged as good heads now we need to recover the head zero recover the data on the surface zero now we need to stop the motor and remove the PCB then we swap heads that means we put donor head zero to this pension hard drive and then we need to use one function we are talking about today go to the image settings here start head settings because we have imaged the head one two three now we need to change the head map to this original stairs we can open the head zero within the RAM here head zero because in Rome we have added the map with head one we have cut the head zero so it's zero one zero one zero two zero three now we need to change back to original status because I have put dollar head zero to the pension drive so here we can open the head zero and then click OK and then we can untick head one untick head two untick head three because we have imaged all those head three heads we tick head zero only to image head zero at this time so now you can see this function is very important why don't we use head map editing in ROM at this time because for scratched hard drive we have very limited chance of data recovery so we must reduce the power reset if we edit head map in ROM we must edit the ROM and write the ROM and power off and power on after this kind of operations to the pension drive to this scratched pension drive the drive may be caused further scratches the data will be gone forever that's why we need the function to edit the physical head map in RAM in this disk image setting so this one is very innovative an important function to recover data from scratched hard drives so from this 
video, you can learn these very important steps and skills to operate on this function to recover the lost data from scratched hard drives. Thank you for watching this video.